Hey guys, Blazing Wrath here, and in this video, I'm going to go over some quick tips on how to better use grenades in Halo Infinite. This shouldn't take too long, as there's not much to them, but grenades are very important to use in Halo, and unlike most shooters. You're going to be throwing grenades more often than you're used to. One last thing I got to mention in, the, in my last video on Halo Infinite's Melee, I forgot to mention to check the description for any future changes that happen, uh, as well as this one on grenades. Alright, quick intro out of the way, let's begin. First, before I go into detail of infinite grenade types, you have to know where and when to throw grenades. You can only carry two grenades of each type, and you can only carry two types of grenades with you, following the same logic of you carrying a primary weapon and a secondary weapon. Typically, you want to throw grenades before a fight begins. Throwing a grenade where you expect an enemy to come from. Be wary, however, as typically pre-throwing grenades does give your opponent an idea of where you are. Vice versa, you can use that knowledge to your advantage. Throw one or multiple grenades if a player happens to be chasing you. It's usually an excellent punish. Always remember, and this is I guess a general shooter tip, not just for Halo. Grenades are not always meant to kill, even though that's their general purpose. Sometimes grenades are simply used to force movement or deny movement. Generally, the only time it's bad to throw a grenade is mid-gunfight. Do not throw grenades mid-gunfight because your opponent sees you throwing them, thus they can dodge them easily, and you're wasting time throwing and not dealing damage, and by the time you're done throwing grenades in front of your opponent, you're dead. Alright, now let's talk about each of Infinite's grenades. Let's start with frag grenades. These are your starting grenades, so it's very important to know how to use them. Halo Infinite's frags must bounce first before exploding, so keep that in mind which means you can bounce frags off most surfaces on maps, and over time you will get used to how the trajectory performs and where to throw them. It takes two frags to get a kill. Blast radius and damage are moderate, I would say. Next, plasma grenades. These grenades bounce, but nowhere near as much as a frag. Unlike frags, plasmas must settle down on the ground before exploding as they're on a set timer. It takes one plasma grenade for a kill, or these grenades can stick to other players and vehicles. Damage is high, but the blast radius is a little smaller than frags. Next, spike grenades. These grenades unfortunately don't kill with one spike grenade underneath a player's feet like Halo 3. However, these grenades have a pretty high blast radius due to the spike's travel distance after blowing up. They won't kill you, but they'll sting a little. It takes two spike grenades for a kill, and just like plasmas, they can stick on vehicles and other players. Unlike plasma grenades, spike grenades can stick onto walls and ceilings. Dynamo grenades. These are brand new to Halo. Think of the power drain from Halo 3, except these things actually deal damage to health and can kill you if two dynamos are near you. These grenades also slow down your movement a bit, making them very powerful. On top of that, these also act as EMP grenades, so they're really good at dis disabling vehicles. And that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed, leave a like. Share the video to anyone who'd be interested. Consider subscribing if you want to stick around. You can also follow me on Twitch and Twitter. Both links will be down in the description. I guess I should also mention I have a TikTok now, so if you want to give me a follow there, you're welcome to. Not sure if you've noticed, but these video guys that I've done so far cover the golden triangle of Halo. I first covered basic mechanics of Halo, which are movement and health. Then I went into the golden triangle itself, which are weapons, melee, and grenades. Master G3 as best you can, and you will be the best Halo player you can be. And until next time, peace.